Good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzomus and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom and the channel of breaking empires free. If you are new on this channel I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse, I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self-growth. And if I know that resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us, give us a like, share the video with friends and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. Now, when it comes to relationships, meaningful relationships, I've come to realize that um, a lot of people, they're with the wrong people. A lot of people are entangled in the wrong relationships. And you see, and you see that every day. So you see a lot of times people telling you they hate their wife, people telling you they hate their husband, you will see a lot of times people fighting each and every single day. You will see people arguing and it looks like they want to kill each other. Now, most of the times, there are so many people who are with the wrong partners without even knowing it. I've seen that along my journey. I've told you guys over, over and over again, I've uh, continuously been meeting uh, a lot of these uh, toxic people, you know, narcissists and whatever. So. I know this from experience because I've experienced also that a lot of times people are attached to other people for the wrong reasons. And um, when it comes to soulmates, soulmates, those are the individuals you always meet and those individuals are going to complete you. Those individuals are going to love you in a way you've never loved before. That's why you see when, you, when it comes to soulmate relationships, a lot of people, when they meet their soulmates, their life completely takes a different turn altogether. It's like your manifestations will heighten, your aura will heighten, your energy will heighten. So you will notice when you're with your soulmate, whatever it is you try to put your hand is going to turn to gold. So most of the times you're manifesting even bigger with those kind of individuals. That is because you guys are meant to be together and you're in the right energy. But when, when, when you're dealing with toxic people, most of, most of the times it doesn't matter what you do. If you're dealing with a toxic individual, let me tell you something, people. If you're dealing with a toxic person, it does not matter how much you, what you do and how much you try, you will never reach anywhere. Most of the times, you lose everything, your life, your health, including your money. You even go, even sometimes you go bankrupt. Now, what I was, I was talking about, uh, I was talking with a friend a couple, of, a couple of years ago. I was talking with a friend, so we're talking about soulmate relationships. And this friend was telling me how, she, how he met uh, his soulmate. So he told me that back in the days, many years ago when they were in school, he had this high school sweetheart. So it's like they met and uh, there was a very nice uh, relationship between, uh, between the two of them. Uh, but for some reason, I think those were in the, during the high school back in the days. I think he was in his 20s, if I remember well. So it's like they met, they had a very nice relationship. They liked each other. Everything was, uh, was okay, was nice. And then along the lines, they somehow, somehow split up and each of them went separate ways. So they went separate ways. The guy went his own way and the woman went, went her own ways. So the woman went ahead and married. The guy also went ahead and married somebody else. And he lived in that marriage for more than 20 years. The woman probably it was about 17 or 18 years, but somewhere, somehow, those two marriages actually didn't work. So the both of them... Many years later, they ended up separating with their partners and of course spending some time alone by themselves and they were healing and all these kind of things. And at some point, and guys, I'm talking about people who are living in different countries. So this, these guys separated. So this, this particular individual, my friend, moved to a different country and the, the woman actually stayed in that country. But at some point later, guys, many years later, these individuals, they met again. And they realized that they realized, they realized these two particular individuals that actually they were meant to be together from the start. It's just because in that time they could not see this partnership for what it was. In those days, you know, when you're young, sometimes you want to play around, you want to go here, you want to go left, you want to try different things. You know, sometimes you're attracted to guys because they're driving a cool car, you know, they are, they are, they've got a six packs and the things like that. So normally when you're young, you cannot really make out what a real relationship, a real relationship means. So sometimes you even you're going to meet your soulmate most of the times in those young ages. You're even sometimes going to meet your soulmates and you're going to notice those relationships even sometimes have failed to work because you do not really understand what you want. This, my friend, later on, 
he met again with his soulmate many years later and they started a very very nice relationship and he can tell me that he can never wish for anything else he really understood at a later point in time that this particular individual was her so was his soulmate from day one now you see a lot of you guys may be wondering when is your soulmate coming in when it comes to soulmate let me tell you something most of the times your soulmate you have, you have actually most likely met your soulmate earlier on in your journey if that has not happened there's a very big chance that your soulmate is actually entangled in another relationship. So sometimes you may notice there are some cases whereby you see um, you happen to run into a woman or a woman happens to run into a man and in that particular time that individual is married. But somewhere, somehow, there is something with this soulmate energy. When you meet your soulmate, there's something is good. Something will always tell you that these are the guys. When you meet your soulmate, let me tell you something. It does not matter how many years you've been married. It does not matter what you're going through in your life. You will always know these are the guys. I've told you guys when you meet the one, you will know. Most of the times, that's why you see sometimes people in relationships, even sometimes marriages, they end up going through separations because they have finally found somebody that they want to be with, somebody who resonates with their own energy. Because this whole thing, soulmate thing is, a, is an energy, you see? But the whole thing is that sometimes a lot of toxic individuals they are entangled with good people. A lot of toxic individuals, they are entangled with good people. That's why you see a lot of people who are already married. They are already yearning for something different because they are not getting that love that they're looking for in those particular, in those particular relationships or even sometimes marriages. So that's why sometimes you run into somebody and it looks as if it's, it's like love at first sight. You just fall in love with them in, in, immediately. You just meet somebody you have not seen that person before sometimes. Or even sometimes you've been, you've met that person earlier on in your journey when you're young. They are married and somewhere, somehow, something just clicks between the two of you. And most of the times, guys, let me tell you something. That is your soulmate. If you're out there wondering where your soulmate is, I can guarantee you most of the time when you're talking about soulmates, a lot of soulmates, they are entangled with the wrong people. So sometimes I think the universe is doing this on purpose. Because you see, when you're young, you don't really understand what you want. So you don't know how to treat somebody. You don't know anything about self-love. You don't know what you should do for the person that you really love. You do not understand love in details. You see what I mean? So most of the times I think sometimes the universe removes you away from certain people, even if sometimes you're meant to be with them. Sometimes the, the universe may actually get you, separate you away from some certain people so that the both of you can go ahead in life and learn some particular lessons in life. And you learn some particular lessons. You see, a lot of times... When you're entangled with this kind of toxic individuals, toxic relationships, you will understand at some point in time that you have not loved yourself enough. You will understand when you're with a toxic individual that you have never loved yourself enough because those individuals, they will show you everything that describes hate. They will hate you in a way you've never seen before. They will pretend that they are loving you, but at the same time, they don't like you because you, you know what is, what is actually happening spiritually. You guys are two people on a different frequency. So you are a, you're a person with light and love. You know what I mean? And then you've got the other individual who is full of hate, hatred, resentment. You know, they don't, they, don't, they don't even like themselves. So when the two of you meet, there is no way you're going to tell me that you're going to have a, a nice, successful relationship because each and everything you're doing, you're going to collide. You're emitting love to the other individual and the other individual does, know how, does not know how to receive that love. So instead of receiving that love in a, in, a, in a nice way, understanding that there's always somebody who obviously likes me and they want to do these nice things to me, those individuals, they, the only thing that, that what happens is that they now reject that love and they give you back only hate, hatred. So when you're dealing with toxic individuals, those toxic individuals, let me tell you something, for some reason, toxic individuals always gravitate towards good people. Toxic individuals, these so-called narcissists and, and whatever, psychopaths and whatever, they always gravitate towards good people. Why? Because normally good people, they are the ones who are supposed to regulate them. Those individuals, they do not know how to love themselves. So normally they meet very nice individuals. We're talking about empaths or even sometimes other good people. Because those individuals, they're the only ones who are supposed to regulate them. You know, sometimes they know, they know what they're all about. They know that they do, not, they, do not, they do not have the ability to love anybody authentically. So most of the times what they do, they meet somebody nice. And you're supposed to come in there and regulate them. That's why you see sometimes because the two of you are vibrating on different frequencies. That's why on a daily basis you're going through trauma. You're going through drama. You're going through abuse. You're going through gaslighting, manipulation, and all these kind of things. They do not know how to reciprocate your love. 
the universe most of the time is putting you in those entanglements because the universe wants you to learn particular lessons because you see when you're young you have usually taken things for granted you have most likely been with your soulmate but you, you, you didn't actually understand uh probably that this this particular encounter or uh, relationship was a divine a divine relationship so sometimes you cannot recognize this so sometimes the universe what it does it removes away from this kind of individuals and it makes it makes you meet very very bad individuals and very toxic individuals so those individuals now they are going to teach you a real lesson so the same thing you're going through is the same thing your soulmate is going through somewhere else on the in the in the, in the other side of the universe is the same thing your soulmate is going through and most of the times that's why you see after a very long period of time you've been married for many years you've had you've had children you've been married you've had children and things like that after so many years that's why you see a lot of people they have got to go through separations because now they realize that those particular individuals they apparently think they love those individuals do not love them at all now that's when you see a lot of separations happening and most of the times if you are going to meet your soulmate you are going to meet a person that has worked on themselves if a person has if a person has left a relationship they have not spent at least a year maybe sometime more by themselves those individuals they have not healed let me tell you something guys you do not heal in two months you do not heal in three months you do not heal in one year you do not heal in six months healing real healing takes a lot of time so healing is to sit by yourself and understand can you actually be enough by yourself without having to date can you take a long period of time by yourself can you manage to live your own life without having to go into debt so most of the times that's why you see when people separate from relationships they go out there and they spend a lot of time they heal they reflect they understand okay so maybe in the in the beginning that's what this this probably could have been uh this is what probably went wrong in that entanglement they understand those individuals the way they what they did to them they would they, maybe sometimes they were they are thinking they were worthy of more than what they showed them so most of the times those individuals are sitting by themselves they're taking time alone to think to reflect and to understand what exactly do they need in life so most of the times that's when you see you come into a very good frequency you know what i mean because when you heal a person who is healed you embody a very nice energy and you embody a very good frequency so the, the frequency you are emitting out in the universe is the frequency that is that is actually enabling you to attract that person that is meant to be with you so most of the time, most of the time you can see people um meeting their soulmates later on in time they know they are 40 sometimes they are 50. they meet their soulmates and those individuals they will stay with those people forever so those sometimes you may wonder you've been looking around you know you've been jumping from relationship to relationship you don't know what is going on this one twists you like that from the from, from there you go to another one that one twists you like that so it's like you're just going in cycles of the wrong relationships it is just because you have never really spent time alone to heal most of the times when you've been jumping from relationship to relationship this one picked you up somewhere after two months that one picked you somewhere i picked you up somewhere after three months you have not spent time alone to heal you can never meet the wrong, you can never meet the right person because in that particular energy you are still embodying that frequency of that relationship that you've had before so for example if you've been meeting if you've been involved with a narcissist let me say for example you have left that narcissist it is just two months three months down the road and you go into another relationship there is a very big chance guys i can guarantee you 95 percent chances you're going to meet the next narcissist In the beginning they're going to appear like they're the ones oh these are the, the perfect ones you know you guys are you know think you, you think you've made the one most of the times before you know it it can be sometimes six months down the road you are just going to realize you are just stepped into another cycle of abuse that cycle can go on and on and on until you step a foot you put a step uh, a foot forward and you say enough is enough and you're going to stop those things of dating and you're going to first take first of all take your take your own time to heal and self-reflect that is exactly when those soulmates are going to walk in most of the times you can be you can be you can even be surprised a lot of you guys may be walking around and you, you, you even sometime you, you even sometime meet your soulmate already in another relationship but inside that mind or inside his mind he's already struggling with that relationship and they do not know what to do with themselves so most of the times you are going to meet your soulmates sometimes you've seen cases even i'll give you i'll, I'll give you a real case scenario have you seen sometimes a case a case whereby you're married you just got married yesterday maybe a week a week later or maybe a month later and then all of a sudden in a few weeks you meet you meet a very very nice, a very nice individual a person who is supposedly supposed to be with you most of the times let me tell you something the universe 
sometimes it's going to show you your soulmates when you just when you have just stepped into a marriage. You'll be married a month. And you're walking outside and you meet a very nice individual. You cannot even compare to your own husband. That individual, sometimes you are going to meet your soulmates in those, in those scenarios when you've already gotten married. So that's why they say sometimes when you are in a very toxic relationship, when you're in a very bad marriage, you are struggling every day, you are like fighting, you are beating, you are beating up each other. It's like almost you want to kill each other. Most of the times the universe is telling you the individuals that you are with at that moment, they are not the, they are not the people for you. The universe is showing you the signs that those individuals with you are with at that moment, those are not the guys for you. So the universe wants you to learn some lessons, very, very important lessons. Because before you decide to emit, uh, to exit those kind of uh, relationships or marriages, you have got to first of all sit in those marriages and learn your lessons. If you have not learned your lessons, let me tell you something, people. It does not matter those individuals, if they live your life, you are going to go out there and jump into, into the next toxic relationships. So when you're talking about soulmate relationships, we're talking about really divine relationships. Those people that are meant, they, those people that are meant to be with you, they, they will be there with you, they will stay forever. Those people, when they come into your life, you will know these are the ones. They will stay with you, they will support you, they will love you unconditionally, they will stay forever. It does not matter what you're going through. A soulmate is going to stay in your life forever. But it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of work. So most of the times, as much as people want to be with good people, they have not done the work. You know what I mean? As much as you think you want somebody, you like them, maybe they look nice, or maybe sometimes, you know, the way they behave, the way they carry themselves, or things, or the things like that. A lot of times people have not healed. And a lot of times people have not done the work. You cannot meet somebody nice when you've not done the work. Because do you know why? Because that person you're trying to meet, they have done the work. But you have not done the work. So you have not worked on yourself. There is no way most of the times you're going to meet somebody and you've not worked on yourself and that relationship will work. Even if, you're so, even if it's your soulmate, you can meet sometimes a case, a scenario whereby you meet your soulmate, but your soulmate is going to feel as if you're going through some stuff and you really need some time to heal. You know what I mean? They may like you initially. They may want to be with you. But sometimes they are going to know that you're struggling with some things. It could be some things like trauma, things that things have been going through recently. And sometimes you really need time to heal. So sometimes that relationship in the beginning, it may not work. You know what I mean? Because your soulmate is going to feel that energy that you're going through some stuff. And they're going to leave you to go ahead and heal. You know what I mean? Sometimes. So do not be surprised and do not ask yourself a question. Where is your soulmate? When are they coming in? You know, what, what happened? Why, why are you all of a sudden alone? What is going on with you? There's, there's nothing wrong with you. The only thing is you're going through life lessons and the universe is teaching you something very important. If I did not meet the narcissist, a lot of these narcissists have been coming along my way. I would never really know who I am. So it's probably hard to go through those experiences and learn life in detail and learn many things about myself because I've been having so many issues before, many years ago with codependency. I've been raised in, this, in a dysfunctional family. So, of course, eventually, I didn't really know who I am because normally your family will not even tell you who you are in the first place. So, I had a lot of codependence issues. You know what I mean? So, these are the things I had to carry on and heal. So, I had to take a lot of time by myself to understand what exactly has been going on over the years. So, I really need to, needed to know who am I in the first place? Who am I? Who is Denzomos? What am I made of? physically, emotionally, spiritually, who am, who am I? And when I, know, when I know those kind of questions, I will also understand what do I need to do to work on myself? And how can I work on myself? How can I become a better human being? Somebody who can be presentable out there so that I can receive love and give out the same love in that same way, a love that can actually be able to be reciprocated. You know what I mean? So it takes a lot of time to understand these things. If you have not understood these things, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. You will sometimes even meet your soulmate, but in a few weeks you're going to break up. Because the universe hasn't prepared you. You are not yet prepared to really go on with those relationships. You are not yet prepared psychologically and emotionally for those people. And there's still some work to do whereby you're supposed to really take time alone to work on yourself. You know, sometimes I'm talking about working on yourself. Some people don't really understand what I'm talking about. Working on yourself is simply spending time alone. You have got to spend time alone to really understand what you're all about. Who are you and what you're all about? 
What do you really want in life? What kind of partner do you want to be with? Me, at this moment, I know what kind of person I want to be with. So it does not matter who comes in front of me. I know the kind of person I want to date. I know their qualities, what they should be looking like, what they should be, what kind of energy they should embody. I know all the single details because I've, I've taken time to work on myself. So at this moment in time, a person who has worked on yourself, you are going to start attracting your a similar energy, you know, an energy similar to yours. You know what I mean? So you're going to be emitting out that energy that you're vibrating at that moment and you're going to attract that similar energy back to you. So most of the times, that is when you see a lot of times um, people meet their soulmates. That like, like I've told you in the beginning of this video, my friend, has they spent 20 years in a marriage, a very difficult, toxic marriage, 20 years. His soulmate as well spent about a couple of something years, maybe 17 or 18 years in another marriage. And they both, have, they both had kids somewhere else. But at the end of the day, 20 years later on, they realized they were actually meant to be together. From initially, back, back then when they were in high school, they were actually destined to be together. So they came back and met together and started forming a very, very nice relationship. You know what I mean? So sometimes it takes time. You know what I mean? But you have got to know chosen ones that uh, a lot of times, a lot of times you want to meet your soulmates, but you have got to know a lot of times your soulmates are still entangled with very toxic individuals. Your soulmates are going through real life situations and real life lessons. So they're learning some things about life. And sometimes they're with the wrong people because God wants put God has put them there purposely to learn some very important lessons about themselves. Before you can meet them and form a very meaningful relationship, they have got first of all to meet individuals who are not like you, so that they can understand the difference between the good and bad thing, uh, good and bad people. So now when they're ready, when they've seen the bad, they can be able to get out there and now meet the right people who are supposed to be with them. Those are the, those are what they call the soulmate connections. So those soulmate connections are divine connections. You know what I mean? So those are those are those are connections which are aligned by the universe. You guys come together and you'll be surprised at how much your life is going to take off. You know, you in a way you've never seen before. You know what I mean? You manifest big things, you move faster because everybody knows what you want. You have all done the work, that is number one. You all know what you want in life, that is number two. You are all you all mean for each other. Nobody's going to start going coming around and gaslighting and abusing the other one. So you're all going to mean well for each other. Those are the, 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 the relationships they call divine connections. They're the people who meet you and you're going to pour into them and they're going to pour into you. So you're pouring into each other. You know what I mean? Everything you touch will be successful because when you meet a soulmate, they will never ever manipulate you to that extent whereby they're just going to be taking from you. They will always give you back and you also give them back something. You know what I mean? So, soulmate connections, that's what I wanted to say, guys, about soulmate connections. Do not worry about soulmate connections. If you haven't, made, if you haven't yet met your soulmate, you have got to know those individuals, they are somewhere else working on themselves. They are still somewhere learning some lessons in life. So, they are not ready for a full commitment with you because they are still somewhere also going through their own life journey. When the right, when the right time comes, those individuals, they are going to show up. And sometimes you can be surprised. Your soulmates are not even in your own vicinity or, or some, even sometimes in your own country. Sometimes they can be people very, very far away from you, you know, miles and miles away from you, different countries, different races, different nationalities. When you're talking about soulmates, we don't, we don't talk about colors, we don't talk about orientations, we, talk, we don't talk about skin colors, we don't talk about cultures and traditions. Your soulmate can come from anywhere, just anywhere. But it's just because when you guys are meant to meet, when you guys are meant to meet each other, the universe is going to find all possible ways to make it sure that they bring the two of you together and it does not matter what happens you guys are always going to you are you you, you all you guys the both of you are always going to go to come into union together but i'll again remind you that when you meet your soulmate you will know these are the ones nobody has got to explain to you nobody has got to convince you when you meet those individuals you will know those are the ones and it will not take you a while before you start a relationship with them because you already know you guys in in, in whichever way possible you're meant to be together you know what I mean? So, of course, guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. You always know that I love and appreciate your support. If you like my content, guys, you can always give us a like, share the video and subscribe. Book a session with me if you want to. You can always donate and support to this channel if you want to. Until then, it's been a blessing to have you guys on board. Much love and blessings. There's more signing out. Peace.